our grade 3 English e-learning. This week, March 15 to 19, we will start our new lesson. We will continue our lesson in grammar. So we will go to lesson 3, page 34. Last week, we started learning grammar about present progressive tense that's in lesson 2. So this time, let's continue our lesson. We are now on lesson 3. We are still learning grammar. So get your student book and turn to page 34. Let's start. Look at the picture. Today we are going to do speaking activity. So you have to look and say. Here we have some phrases inside the box. So let me read to you. Follow with your eyes. Eat a sandwich. Eat ice cream. Wear a hat. Wear sunglasses. Water ski. Surf. Look at a bird. Look at a fish. So these are our phrases inside the box. Now look at picture A. We have here four pictures. We have surf, eat ice cream, wear sunglasses, and look at a bird. Okay? And then look at picture B. Here we have water ski, eat a sandwich, wear a hat, look at a fish. Now, in lesson 2, we've learned how to write sentences in affirmative and negative form using the present progressive tense. Remember? So we are going to use them here. Okay, I'm going to read the sentence. The boy isn't eating ice cream. The boy isn't eating ice cream. Here, the first sentence, we use the negative form of present progressive tense. Notice the short form isn't. Isn't. So we are using isn't. That means it's in the negative form. The boy isn't eating ice cream. Let's go to the next sentence. He's eating a sandwich. He's eating a sandwich. This sentence here is in the affirmative form. Affirmative form. So, all you have to do is listen to what I say. And then you tell me if it's picture A or picture B. Okay? You say what what picture is it? Is it picture A or picture B? So I'm going to read again the sentence. Here we have an example. The boy isn't eating ice cream. He's eating a sandwich. Is it picture A or picture B? The answer here is, it's picture B. This one, he's eating a sandwich. The boy isn't eating ice cream. He's eating a sandwich. So it's picture B. So you have to look at the boy eating ice cream and eating a sandwich. Okay, so let's try. Here we have picture A. Just like what I've said earlier, this is the boy eating ice cream. And then here we have the boy eating a sandwich. So let's read the sentence. Look here. The boy isn't eating ice cream. He's eating a sandwich. Is it picture A or picture B? The answer is... 
it's picture B. Now, let's try to practice the other pictures. Let's look at the other pictures. Picture A. Okay, look. And this is picture B. I'm going to read the sentence. You tell me if it's picture A or picture B. The boy isn't wearing a hat. He's wearing sunglasses. The boy isn't wearing a hat. He's wearing sunglasses. Is it picture A or picture B? The answer is picture A. Yes, it's picture A. He's wearing sunglasses. Let's move to our next picture. Picture A, look at the boy. And picture B, look at the boy. I'm going to read the sentence. The boy isn't surfing. The boy isn't surfing. He's water skiing. Is it picture A or picture B? What do you think is the correct answer? The answer is, it's picture B. He's water skiing. This one. Next. Look at picture A. Okay. And this is picture B. I'll read the sentence. The boy isn't looking at a fish. He's looking at a bird. Is it picture A or picture B? The answer is, it's picture A. Alright, I hope you got the concept. Let's try to have our writing activity. This time, get your board and marker. Get your board and marker. Let's try to write this one. Write about the pictures. We have here picture A and we have here picture B. Okay? Use the words from the box. Okay? It's in page 34, exercise 1, the look and say activity. It's the words are in there. Okay? We are going to use those phrases in writing affirmative and negative sentences. So this time, let's try to write about the pictures. We are going to write about picture A. So this is our example. Let's write about picture A. So what is the boy doing in picture A? Is the boy eating ice cream or eating a sandwich? The boy is eating ice cream. So we are going to write about picture A. The boy is eating ice cream. That's affirmative. Okay? And then we are going to write the negative sentence. He isn't, of course, we use this one, isn't, it's in the short form. He isn't eating a sandwich. Okay? The boy is eating ice cream. He isn't eating a sandwich. So that's how we are going to write about the sentence. So that's picture A. This time, get ready. Get your board and markers ready and write about the picture. Okay? Write about the picture. So this is picture A. Again, the boy is eating ice cream. And letter B, eat a sandwich. Okay? What you're going to do is, you are going to write about picture B. Okay, write about the picture B. This is not an example anymore, but you will write about the picture B. Okay, so get your board and marker and write about the picture B. You have 15 seconds to do it. Okay. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, it's time. So let's write about picture B. The boy is eating a sandwich. Look, the boy is eating a sandwich. He isn't eating ice cream. He isn't eating ice cream. Okay? So that's how you write it in the present progressive tense, affirmative form, and the negative form. Okay, let's move to our next picture. Okay, picture A, look at the boy. And picture B, look at the boy. Okay, so disregard this one. It's not an example anymore. Write about picture A. Write about picture A. This one, write about picture A. Write about picture A. We start now. Okay, time's up. Let's read. I mean, let's let's write. Let's check. Okay, example. Okay, picture A. Write about picture A. Your answer should be: the boy is wearing sunglasses. He isn't wearing a hat. Okay. The boy is wearing sunglasses. He isn't wearing a hat. All right. So let's move. Next. Okay, look at picture A. The same picture. Picture B, the same. Now, this time, you will write about the picture B. So you have 15 seconds and your timer starts now, okay? So write about picture B. Okay, time's up. Time's up. So let's write about picture B. Your answer should be... The boy is wearing a hat. He isn't wearing sunglasses. Okay? The boy is wearing a hat. He isn't wearing sunglasses. Okay. Next. Alright. So, that's all for our writing activity. You will have, you will do that one in your homework for this week. So, this will be our song. Look at the pictures, okay? Look at the pictures. What are they doing? Okay, look at this one. What are dad and the boy doing? What are they doing? They are sailing in their little boat, okay? This girl is surfing, yes. This girl, this boy here is swimming. This boy and girl, these children here are windsurfing. Okay? Mom is sunbathing. And these two here are diving and snorkeling. So let's read the words of, of the song. The title of the song is At the Beach. What are the things that you can do at the beach? We're playing at the beach today. We're having lots of fun. We're swimming. Oh, you can swim. And we're surfing. Wow, you can surf like this one. And we're sitting in the sun here. Mom is sitting in the sun. We all like playing at the beach. It's sunny here today. We can windsurf at the beach. Here, 
after winter. And we can swim and play. We're sailing in our, our little boat. My dad is helping me here sailing. We're snorkeling and diving this one. There are lots of fish to see. And then we will go back here. We all like playing at the beach. It's sunny here today. We can windsurf at the beach and we can swim and play. All right. So this time, let's listen to our song. And you can sing along. Listening 39. Listen and sing at the beach. We're playing at the beach today. We're having lots of fun. We're swimming and we're surfing and we're sitting in the sun. We all like playing at the beach. It's sunny here today. We can windsurf at the beach and we can swim and play. We're sailing in our little boat. My dad is helping me. We're snorkeling and diving. There are lots of fish to see. We all like playing at the beach. It's sunny here today. We can windsurf at the beach and we can swim and play. All right, that's all for our song and that's all for our lesson three. I hope you had fun and I hope you understand the concept of writing sentences in present progressive tense using the affirmative form and negative form. So for your classwork for this lesson, don't forget to answer your workbook page 34. Four. And then, once you are done, take photo and send your work to my messenger. Send it to my messenger, not in the group. Okay? So again, don't forget your classwork for this lesson. And see you on our next lesson video. Goodbye and thank you for watching.